As the investigation into the death of Anthony Mitchell continues, we're hearing from his family for the first time tonight. It is an interview that you'll only see right here on CBS 42. Our Carly Lang sat down with Mitchell's sister, who talks about his arrest, that video, and her lawsuit that claims he froze to death in police custody. It's been nearly a month since this video of what Tony Mitchell's family says could be his final moment surfaced. It sparked a federal investigation into his death, and while time keeps ticking on, his family tells me they are not giving up. We're without my brother, and we have no answers. It's been over a month since Tony Mitchell died. His sister, Miranda Mitchell Gutzmer, says it's still hard to believe it's true. I want to grieve. And I'm just not able to because so much stuff is happening and we're we don't have any answers. It all started with a welfare check. You think that the police are going to be there to help you. That's what you learned in school, right? Call 911 if something bad's happening and then your loved one's taken away and you never see them again. Mitchell Gutzmer says her brother Tony had struggled with addiction for years and after the death of their father in 2022, Mitchell's addiction spiraled. One of the things before my father passed away was that, you know, he just wanted me to be there for Tony. So I tried to check in on him. <laughs> and it was hard because I wanted so badly for him to get help. That welfare check ended with Mitchell being charged with attempted murder. According to this Facebook post from the sheriff's office, Mitchell pulled a gun and fired at least one shot at deputies before running away and eventually being arrested. The post included a photo of Mitchell that drew harsh criticism from many in the community. And I just see this photo of someone I don't even recognize and my heart just broke. It didn't seem fair to exploit someone in this horrific time. Two weeks later, on January 26th, Mitchell died. We thought, okay, if he goes to jail, maybe he can get himself clean and we can put him into treatment afterward and have a second chance at life. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's not going to happen. About a week later, Mitchell Gutzmer got a Facebook message. It was this video from inside the Walker County Jail showing Mitchell being carried out of the jail and put into a patrol car. It was horrifying to watch. And I know so many people have seen it, and I just want to remind people, that's my brother in that video. <laughs> it's really hard to watch it every time. <laughs> she says she had no idea this nightmare was just beginning. On February 13th, the family filed a wrongful death lawsuit. That lawsuit claims Mitchell was likely placed in the jail's walk-in freezer or similar frigid environment for hours. How can someone in jail die of hypothermia and no one ever knew that it was happening? The lawyer for the Walker County Sheriff's Office responded to the lawsuit. The motion to strike includes the quote, a lie makes it halfway around the world before the truth gets its boots on. The old adage, you know, a lie gets around the world before the truth gets to put its boots on. Well, the lie that he was alert and conscious did get around the world before we even got our boots on. We never saw the medical records when that was publicized. That alleged lie she is referring to is this the statement public information officer TJ Armstrong sent to me the day Tony Mitchell's death was reported. The statement says, quote, the inmate was alert and conscious when he left the facility and arrived at the hospital. Once we got the truth of the medical records and saw the video, alert and conscious is far from the truth. According to those medical records, Mitchell arrived at the hospital unresponsive, pulseless, and cold to the touch. Those documents also note he had a core temperature of 72 degrees. The notes read in part, quote, it is difficult to understand a rectal temperature of 72 degrees. It goes on to say, I do believe that hypothermia was the ultimate cause of death. Court documents from the attorneys for the sheriff's office say allegations that Mitchell was left in a freezer are the definition of scandalous. An official autopsy report is still pending. New videos just recently made public capture Mitchell's incarceration. I really wish it wasn't true, but everything points to this was not just a chance occurrence. This was purposeful, what they did. This video shows corrections officers wrestling Mitchell to the ground and holding up what appears to be a stun gun, then dragging him out of an office. It's just one of many videos. Gutsmar says 
is disturbing. And that all of this was happening while they're knowingly being recorded as well is even scarier. That they weren't worried about this being on video. And it's that fear that keeps Gutsmar fighting for justice. Do you think you would know any of this? Do you think the world would be talking about Tony Mitchell if those videos had not come out? I don't think so. And as hard as it, it is to see these videos, I'm thankful that they're out there because we would have never known and this would have been swept under the rug. And they're trying really hard to keep sweeping it, but we're not going to let that happen. You can read the lawsuit filed by Mitchell's family, the response from attorneys for the sheriff's office, and view all of the newly released videos. They're all posted for you right now on our website, cbs42.com. Another candlelight vigil is being held for Mitchell this weekend in Jasper. Reporting in the studio tonight, Carly Lang, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.